right? It's Shalom, 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 Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone, the lead teacher, rule well. Love and honors to you, I can push the word in true faith and sincerity across the four corners. Shalom to you, sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the man, Dr. Ray Millstone. Uh, I'm the brother Yadai, to the brother Adna, brother Adna from GMS Land Church. We're just going to do another lesson through the Spirit. Um, we're going to go into connecting this uh, this so-called coronavirus um, coronavirus uh, situation or outbreak, and now really the elites of Esau Edom. We just perceiving through the Spirit are really using this as a way to prop up the uh, the, the U.S. economy. And also using this as a way to put put money into certain companies and industries, like I said, to prop them up, keep the, the so-called uh, uh, economy going. Okay, and, and also use this as an opportunity to um, continue to invest and push forward certain um, infrastructures to to continue to build out their so-called new world order system. A part, a, a major part, or a proponent of that. We all we understand here at Great Millstone to be the um, the prophecy of the mark of the beast, written in Revelation 13 and uh, 14, um, which we know and understand to be the RFID microchip. Um, I have let, I have an article here. We're going to go into the article and um, take it from there. Let's see. <clears throat> all right, so. Alright, so this is from um, the Washington Post, and this is from today, March 20, uh, March 24, 2020, the year of prophecy. Um, it's from, once again, the WashingtonPost.com. It says, Congress, this is the, the title of the article. It says, Congress, White House, closed in on $2 trillion stimulus deal to blunt coronavirus fallout. Um, in, the sub, in the subtitle, it says, McConnell, Schumer, Pelosi, Munchen, all voice optimism that giant spending bill is within reach. And see, and this is one thing too that you have to keep a, you have to keep an eye out for, um, look out for too is um, when these these factions or these sides, um, really they're two sides of the same coin, so to speak. You know, the so-called uh, Democratic and the so-called Republican Party. When you see them on um, polar opposites, meaning that they're either Completely, completely disagreeing about something, or they're completely agreeing about something. Best believe that um, there's something uh, uh, on a deeper level that's that's, that's happening and that's that's occurring. And this is a situation in which here 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 it is. Really, since really you can go back to 9/11. Really, really the country really hasn't been unified under one leader. Really, going back until 9/11. And, and and even with that, the only reason that that, that, that happened was was the so-called uh, the so-called terrorist attack. You know what I'm saying? After after uh, uh, Baby Bush, you had uh, Barack Obama, in which the, uh, the the country was still polarized and uh, you know uh, divided. You had uh, Trump, in which even then the country was still polarized and, and was still divided. And you had these the parties that went along with these guys that you go before Bush. You can go into Clinton, in which the country was more unified during Clinton, per se, but that's because the economy was, was booming. So when, when everybody's making money, don't, don't nobody really give a damn for real. Ain't nobody looking into the, the details of the situation. But even with his administration, the country really wasn't under one umbrella, so to speak. It was still uh, 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 divisions within the Democratic and Republican Party. Um, uh, I know at one point, uh, Newt, Newt Gingrich was a... Uh, 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 he was a majority um, of, the, of the House of the Senate. Yeah. But that, you know, that's neither here nor there, but really just going into how when you see, the, when you see these two sides of, the, of these uh, of the political factions either completely opposed against each other or like just too eerily connected, that's when your antenna's got to be up, man. You got you to really focus in and hone in on the deeper uh, uh, moves that are being made Versus what the you know the average person sees with the naked eye. You got something? I got something. This is uh, Revelation 13, 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, 
and it had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. That goes into what the brother was saying. These Democrats and Republicans, they, they, they speak sweet things, but it's not in the best uh, health of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because they're all in the same game. All right, it could be, you know, you gotta take that, you gotta take these Democrats and Republicans as Crips and Bloods mm -hmm. in the street form. But they all, they all get together at the end of the day. All right, so you can't be deterred by the speech. A lot of our people are into the uh, Democratic um, um, speech, the rhetoric, but there's some jakes that are into the Republicans. At the end of the day, it's the same thing. They keep you trapped up in this American society. And they're not, the Republicans or Democrats are not telling you, you're the Hebrew Israelites, you know, you or your God's chosen people. They're, they're keeping you, they keep you in this chosen, keep you in this bond. Because the scriptures say a uh, gift destroyed the heart. Mm -hmm. So whatever they throw at you, Democrats, Democrats like throw out of goodies at you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Republicans are more of a private sector. All right. It's, at the end of the day, it's to your detriment. Mm -hmm. That's very true, too. But a uh, point that Brother May, built on the point that Brother May, um, they be on the same, on the, they're working with, with the, on the same team, so to speak. Because at the end of the day, what really controls um, the American government, now of course you have the elites who you know, control the American government, but they really control the American government through the corporations and through these lobbyists. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really the, the main way that the elites, because it's too, it's too many people. Like you got to think about what is uh, 100 people in the Senate, 450 some people, something like that in the House. They spread all over the country. You know what I'm saying? It's too many. It's too many people. Too many uh, situations. You know, you have a family situation. You know, if, say it's a, a, a man or a woman in the in the center of the house, and their spouse is sick. You know what I'm saying? Like that 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 one situation could sway their whole judgment on on the course of a matter. But the elites really impose their will and um, get their will done through these corporations because it, they they're they're just greasy each other's pockets, man. And that's that's one. Um, one thing too, like the brothers speak about them goodies, they they on the same page. Not they like, listen, man, we finna cut a big check, man. Mm -hmm. We finna cut a two trillion dollar check. Y'all gonna eat, we gonna eat. The Americans gonna feel good. We gonna cut them a check. The lobbyists, you know, is just working overtime right now, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep going so we don't, you know, be too long winded. I'm going to the article. It says Congress and the Trump administration on Tuesday. Closed in on a massive two trillion dollar stimulus package to address economic fallout from the corona coronavirus, as lawmakers review final language in the Senate aim for a split vote. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and I've been watching this too, man. Like, and the article I believe touches it. If I had the same article, when they first were bringing this package out, it was like a, a trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. Then it went from like a trillion dollars. Well, really, it was a little less than a trillion dollars. It was like between like seven hundred and fifty. A billion and like 900 billion. Mm -hmm. Then it was like they hit a trillion. Then it was like 1.2, 1 1.3 trillion. Yeah. Now I said 2 trillion. Yeah. And that's one reason in which cause I, I saw a little bit of uh, the Senate, the Senate uh, discussion a couple of days ago. That's one of the reasons too in which they trying to cram it through because they start off with a certain number. And you know, it's, it's, um, it's, they, they, they testing, they testing the mindset and mentality of the American people. They start off with a certain number, and then the people they, they didn't they didn't buck up against it, so they went up a little bit more. They didn't buck up against it, and then and then he saw with his exceptions like, oh yeah, this we gonna make sure to cut the American people a check directly too. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody buck up against it. So then before they actually uh, uh, finalize it and like brought brought it to a vote, they ballooned it to two trillion dollars, man. That's why they that's why ain't nobody trying to ruffle no feathers. It's like listen. We got this, we, we put it in the mass media. Ain't nobody saying nothing against it. Everybody feels as if they need it now. How are we gonna divide this pie up, man? Mm -hmm. You got something? I got something for you to break down. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 6. Mm -hmm. Should not all these things take up a parable against him and a taunting. Now, it's probably like uh, 3 or 4. Uh, sorry, from 3. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie, mm -hmm. though it tarry, wait for it, 
because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's the exact time we're in right now, man. Okay, the vision was written for an appointed time in which even this system closely mimics the Roman system of past, but the so-called American forefathers tried to use their, their, their uh, knowledge of the history of what brought down that empire and tried to construct and uh, write down certain legislation to where it would prevent that from happening in this, in this going around. But the thing about it is, it's all through the plan of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because now, because now you have, you, you damn near have 50 plus calendar provinces and territories. You got 50 plus different states under one umbrella. You got damn near two sets of laws. You got federal laws, you got state laws. Then you got all these local municipalities. And it's, it's, too, it's, too, it's too much varying degrees of opinion to get everybody on the same page, on the same accord, to get to keep this uh, society uh, going forward, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Continuing on, it says, Habakkuk 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, mm -hmm. but the just shall live by his faith. So the soul that's, that's uh, in these Edomites, man, is not upright, man. All right? It's not. Like, you, you've seen it. You, we're, we, us being here in 2020, we, we have the ability to look back over the, the last four or five hundred some odd years of what this, 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 these devils have been doing to our people, man. Right. Okay, beginning with the, uh, um, bef before the, the Southern Kingdom was even brought over here on cargo slave ships, beginning with uh, the way they rape, rob, and pillage uh, this land of America, the, the Americas, okay, and the way they treated our, our brethren on this side, man. You know, and it's, it's, clear, it's clear to see that the, their soul is not upright in so with that history that the, the, the nation of Eden, the so-called white races, uh, 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 portrayed, you would be out of your marbles, man. You have some some you have some screws loose to expect anything other than what they've already been doing, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse five. He also because he transgresses by wine, mm -hmm. is a proud man. Transgresses by wine, in which even this um, this uh, this currency system is just uh, it's, it's falsified, man. That's why they have no problem is going to the Federal Reserve and just saying, just print two trillion dollars. Right. Okay, and, and a part of that's gonna go, uh, as they as they say to the American people, part of that's gonna go to uh, really to the Federal Reserve to them for them to just have some money on reserves for some more shit coming down the pipe. Part of that's going to uh, businesses and companies, large, large, medium, small businesses, part of that's going to certain industries like airlines and um, uh, hotels. You know what I'm saying? Certain things that they feel are, are vital because the thing about it is even though this coronavirus may be blown out of proportion and does kind of seem just trying our best to, you know, decipher through the spirit that it, it does seem to be uh, to an extent blown out of proportion. They, the, the moves that they're using to, to on the back on the back end of this to utilize this crisis are not out of proportion. Man. They, they're moving with that Revelation 12 and 12 spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 5, he also, because he transgresses about wine, he is a proud man, mm -hmm. neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. And that's part of Esau's problem that he's running into, man. He overextended his reach. Mm -hmm. He tried to do too goddamn much, man. That's right. And he tried to do too much with a, um, a, flaw, a flawed system, a flawed spirit, a flawed mentality. Just a flaw in everything, man. He's just a defect. That's right. Go ahead. And is as deaf and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And that's part of your problem, man. Esau gathered all nations, including the uh, the chosen people of Yahweh and Yahweh mm -hmm. And now Yahweh and Yahweh Shah is like, okay, like, I got my people trying to get it right under the, the, the pastors and teachers and apostles that I set, I set up for them. The priests, the kings, you know, future kings I set up for them, beginning of course with Yahweh Shah. He's like, okay, now you know we're getting close and close to the time of our redemption, man. Our redemption, our redemption draw of nine. So a part of East a, a big part, a part of Esau's problem in which he he can't solve this problem, man, is what he did to uh, uh, the Israelites, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, over millennia, over centuries, man. Since the beginning of time, you know, if you understand, before the lineage was actually established through the flesh of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even going to the garden, uh, uh, Cain and Abel, 
to this day. Same, same, just spirit of of of, of hating, man. Just hating, just can't get what's from him. And you know, and Jake, and Jake, you know, got drunk off that wine, off that false philosophy. But now we're sobering up, man. We're sobering up to the, the, the true way of, of us to conduct and us to, you know, to, to live and to live and dwell on the earth that Yahweh you know, shall created for our sakes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 6. Should not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his, mm -hmm. how long, and to him that layeth himself with thick clay. Hey. Uh, you can go into that. That word thick clay is a bakya, which means debt. And we start to see that, you know, the United States government is, what, 23, $23 trillion in debt. And now they're trying to make a stimulus package. You know, it, 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 if you can't pay attention, if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners can't pay attention, the United States government is at its end. Because they, they're trying to bail out companies, but at the same time they're trying to figure out a way how to help out you so-called uh, what is that, what is that um, middle middle class Americans and that's most of you Jakes, man, if, if you're not below the poverty line but this man has racked up so much debt that he can't figure out what to do so it's going to go to a point where you know, this this stimulus bill is going to actually amount to another digital currency which is the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. And two thirds of our people, they don't pay attention to biblical prophecy. They just pay attention to the singing and dancing. But then they believe in their government so much that they're gonna pay attention to Esau and how he's gonna paint this digital currency because it's to a point where, you know, the, the, the fiat currency, is being passed out and it's, it's so-called infected with coronavirus that they have no choice but to go to the House of Congress to, to decide these things, man. And that's bullshit, man. That's right. All right. The, the only virus that the only virus that the uh, FRS of America have is fucking uh, a botch of virus, man. <laughs> it ain't worth a goddamn thing. That's man. right. And going to the parable, the parable two in that sixth verse. That's why. That's that's really another reason too. Because um, uh, the elder uh, Yashimamba and the elder brother Rafari Kwan from England did that algorithm video, and the part of that simulation they did was one, one strategy that they were going to use in the event something like that happened, something like what's going on has happened, is to flood the media. That's why you see a constant theme of coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Because they're trying to pump it into, into the people's minds so that's really all they can think about. They become they become paralyzed by uh, so-called information overload, mm -hmm. okay, and then um, uh, uh, from there they can pretty much do and control the people however they want because they're paralyzed, especially in the time where they cut off the uh, the sports, yeah. cut off the sports, cut off the entertainment, <laughs> cut off the concerts. Yeah. People that are stuck at home and all they're hearing is coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. If you do go to work, if if you one of the few that are going to work. That's all everybody's talking about, coronavirus. Yeah. Corona. So it's like just beating them in their head, man. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, he's working on the background, trying to enlarge what's not his, trying to transgress with that line, like he always does. At the end of the day, so it's just it's just further, it's just further than he start going down to his destruction. That's right, because a lot of people don't figure out they're trying to they're trying to, even though they shut down the in the NHL, the NFL, MLB the 2020 Olympics, people are still trying to cling on to that. That's why they're still showing, if you go on YouTube, man, and your page, they're still trying to show games from like fucking 2003 when Dirk Nowitzki and, uh, oh boy, uh, Steve Nash was playing in Dallas. They're still trying to hang on. The script is saying the bench itself failed. So they're still trying to play these old games, but you gotta pay attention to what's going on behind the scenes. See what's going on with your country. All right, if you, if you claim you're American, which we don't claim we're Americans, man. We're just like Paul. All right, we claim the citizenship, but we're really, at the end of the day, we're Israelites. So you got to pay attention to what's going on in world affairs. And majority of our people, they're not paying attention to Al Jazeera or any of these uh, alternative media sources where 
is really giving in you the deal. And if you pay attention to these alternative media sources, they're not talking about soccer and cricket, which is a really uh, sport of these uh, worlds outside of Babylon, America. They're paying attention to what's going on, like political, real political issues. So for you so-called Americans, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that say you're Americans, you need to get your head out your ass and stop paying attention to the sports and Stephen A. Smith trying to reclaim what's going on. Fuck what's going on with Tom Brady and trying to come to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers or that other, that, uh, that Edomite, um, the guy that played for the Chargers, he plays for the Colts now. Oh, um, Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers. Man, forget all that shit, man. They're not going to play. The way how it's looking now, man, it's not going to be another down in the National Football League, man. So it's a high time for you to wake out of sleep, man. Get, the, get that cold out your eye and start paying attention to what's really going on, man. Because we're at the time where the Lord is establishing his kingdom and he's going to send his son, Yahushai, to bring forth that judgment. And you don't want to get caught up in the bad side of that judgment, man. But our people need to just, that's why we keep putting these lessons, man. You, you just need to wake up, man. Like, know what's going on, man. Yeah, it's going to be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people uh, just be scared too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All they know is Esau. They just trust in, trust in their person. Yeah. Um, continuing on, it says uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, <laughs> that devil, them yeah, devil. They all together, man. Yeah. And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. The top White House negotiator all said they expected resolution soon. However, as evening arrived, lawmakers were still engaged in protracted haggling among themselves and with Trump administration officials in hopes for a Tuesday night vote dissipated. And it's like, yo, like, how quick do you expect motherfuckers to be able to spend $2 trillion? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're talking about spending $2 trillion in the American public because they're so impatient. They're so, like, Brain dead. It's like they want now, now, now. Mm -hmm. like, don't you think that your leader should take a couple of days at least to like figure out how to spend two trillion dollars? Yeah. But that's just the the men, people have goldfish uh, brains, man. And that's added up to that that thick clay, man, because they just decide to, to decide to move move on something without considering any counsel or any advisors, and then just make a movement. And then you Americans, you got that microwaves. A mentality where I need it now, you know, I, I need to check now. Not considering the consequences, this this stimulus package can, can uh, bring about the market of beasts, man. All right, when you people are desperate and you have a, uh, you don't know the herbs, you don't you don't know the berries, you don't you don't know how to. Even if you got a pack of celery in your refrigerator, all right, for the men that's in the, in the herbs, man, they're a lot better than you Americans, man. Because you Americans eat a lot of junk food, you get a snack demon on you, or you want the fast food, you drink the uh, fluoridated water, you get the chemtrail sprayed over your head every day. You're not considering what, how long it's going to take and what, what you got to do. Because if you haven't figured out with this American society, this Babylon society, if they throw something at you, it's got to be it's some type of payback that you have to uh, take, man. Right. You know, with the, especially with now with the stimulus package, do you not consider, hey, look, there's going to be a consequence if I take this, man. And what's linked up to it is that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, but our people and these other Babylonians and these other nations, they don't consider what's going on nowadays. They just, hey, fuck it, I'm not working. You know, I need to check. I need, I need to take the stimulus package, man, and see what's going on. That goes into trusting in the shadow of Egypt in the, uh, Isaiah the 30th chapter, man. And we know that that, that, costs, that, that costs a lot for our people, man, because they, they don't consider it. Matter of fact, you said they get, um, please ask me seven and seven. Ecclesiastes 7 and uh, 7, it says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroys the heart. See, the gift destroys the heart. Like the brother said, you know, Jake, um, Jake be thinking about all the goodies. And I want you to read verse 8 too. Jake be thinking about all the goodies that he gonna get. And 
he paid he paid reverence to Esau Edom instead of the Creator, man. You know, he didn't really look at Esau Edom as a fucking God, man, as, a, as an authority. You know what I'm saying? Now, and that also goes into one of the powers that um, Esau has right now, man. Esau has a very deceptive spirit. You know what I'm saying? He's able to design a web in which in, entraps the people, and it's really through them gifts. It entraps the people, and um, you know he creates a nice, cozy environment for them for the most part. Or if it gets too uncomfortable, he gives them enough space to be unruly. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like he get like like shit. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of things that man that you know trapped for years and years and years to get out the game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats that you know got in and got out. You know what I'm saying? Because of the because of really the the lawlessness of the mentality of Esau. Like you know what I'm saying? As long as you as long as you ain't as long as your enterprise isn't slowing my enterprise down, now I'm gonna let you do what the fuck you gonna do. That's you right. know what I'm saying? But they go into the gift that destroy the heart because meanwhile, not only are you not not only are you not only is Jake putting too much uh uh authority into the hand of the oppressor, even Esau was there at the basis of men, they're also not considering that Yahweh and Yahweh is actually the forces and entities that are supplying everything that we need. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 8, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And that's what we have to have patience in, man. We have to have patience that, yeah, you know, we feel the, we feel the oppression, but really day by day, we're we're coming closer and closer to, to salvation. Now we're getting closer and closer to the point that this is all gonna be over with, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna actually be able to, uh, you know, enjoy our families. We're gonna have our women. We're gonna have our kids. We're gonna have our lands. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be able to rest. We're gonna actually have the time to rest, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, you know, be able to in, in, enjoy the, the the servitude of uh, you know the heathens. Have the riches, you know, and the fatness, and also be one with our our, our maker, man. Yeah, how about you? How about What I mean? What more could you ask for? Go ahead. Continue on. It says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. See, and, and that's really one quality that we have to overcome. Um, that even Esau has. Even Esau, of course, we know has a very proud spirit. So over, overcoming that pride. A good way to do that is actually through patience. Right. Matter of fact, read that again. Well, for sure. Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Mm -hmm. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. See, it's like, why Why is that back to back? You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you read scripture and it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But sometimes it's like, well, why did, why did y'all watch me on shot for the spirit, you know, on the preacher too? those two, you know, qualities back to back. Because they oppose each other, man. If you're proud, if you're proud, you don't really have a big need to be patient. You just go out there and do the shit, man. I got this, man, I'm, I'm, I'm moving, man. I'm making it happen, man. <laughs> but if you're patient, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more uh, methodical, a lot more meticulous, all right? A lot more uh, uh, thought-provoking, you know what I'm saying? More consequential. You know, you understand that, you know, the consequences of this action is, you know, can be this. The consequences of this action can be that. It's way more uh, consequential, man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, we have to wait for our Lord, Yahweh, we have to wait for our Lord, Yahweh Shah to come and, uh, uh, you know, destroy this, this place physically anyway. We have to wait until our Lord rises to the prayer. But at the same time, it's like, man, like, hey, man, so we're, 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 like we're talking about, man, we're literally, Watching the fall of our greatest enemy. This this is his last kingdom. <laughs> we are literally excuse me, that cayenne pepper's coming back up, man. We're literally uh on deck. We're literally up next. We're literally we are literally in the times when we we ready to have good too. We're literally in the times that every prophet of old, even though it, it, it's gonna hurt, you know, it's gonna it's gonna hurt in the flesh. But every prophet of old would like died to be in these times. We may have died to be in these times. So it's like, 
All right, man, just embrace you know, the patience, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, stuff get a little sticky around you. You know what I'm saying? Get you, you know, get you a little hanging out, get you a nice little meal. You know, if you, if you deal with, if you deal with, you know, with a rib, deal with your woman, man. Like, shit, the whole nation going through it, man. Yeah, we got to be the men. We got to be the, the pillars of the scripture to speak about. That's right. You know what? That's it on that. Okay. But I got, uh, well, I'm going to go to verse 9. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 7 and 9, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, mm -hmm. for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Even with the two-thirds, man. You can't be hasty to be angry, Jake, man. Jake, bro, like, we already understand that two-thirds of our people ain't gonna make it. Like, you're gonna focus on, like, Y'all niggas this, y'all niggas this, y'all niggas can't get it. <laughs> Bashing the head against the wall and shit, like, bro, like, most of our people ain't gonna get it. <laughs> that's why. That's why we're Lord willing part of the remnant. Right. If we're not for a remnant, the most high for this entire place, man. And I, I got another precept for that. This is uh, Exodus fourteen and fourteen. Mm -hmm. The Lord Yahweh Bashimah shall shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Because you know, brothers that's still working, man. You might have to deal with a demon at your job or a demon in your life. It's like a possible bar during the live stream today. If you catch a hell, it might be from your mother, your woman, your auntie. You know, some type of woman that's in your life, you're going to catch some type of hell, man. But you got to let the Lord fight for you, man. You might not necessarily put curses on this particular person or woman. You know, a lot of brothers coming to this truth thinking it's, it's just about putting curses on Jake 24-7. You know, you'd be like, how about you know, shot a shot for him. You'd be going on and on. But then as time progresses, you're like, look, I'm just going to let the Lord fight that. Whatever obstacle I'm going through, I put my trust in the Lord. I'm not going to get over angry, angry about this situation. Uh, and, and that's the thing that what, what, what proselytes hitting this truth or you've been this thing a year or two, a year and a half, two years. You don't want to get too angry, man. We're, we're in a time of rejoicing, but at the same time, we got to watch the world's pray. But at the same time, getting overly angry about these Jakes out here and, and you know, getting mad about what Jake is doing, the scriptures in 2nd second, second verse 9 says, be not over... Um, matter of fact, I'm going to get it, man. Yeah. Um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Um, I think it was 13. 2nd Ezra 9 and 13. It says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and there's a lot of punishments that's coming to the wicked, man. The ungodly. And when, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. So you got to get caught up into making sure your lessons are edifying. You can't just always condemn, 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 condemn this two-third nigga this, two-third nigga that. You got you to gotta actually have lessons to where you teach the one-third of Israel, man. So you can't get caught up.